Hello everybody and welcome back to my home or welcome to my home if you are new here. It's my Costco fortnightly haul that I'm showing you today. I've got what's new in store, I've got some meal ideas for you. We're going to unbox everything as per usual, what I like to do on my channel and I'm also going to be comparing anything from Costco to say Woolworths or Coles if I have the comparison to show you. So let's get straight into it. I did notice that in Costco for this particular fortnight it was all about gifts, especially kids. There were a lot of kids gifts and this kid right here had to pick herself up one <laughs> and I will show you in that haul section but how cute is this Dyson vacuum cleaner? It actually works for the record. I did notice there was a huge selection of kids costumes and these were second to none as far as quality and detail and although it was primarily kids gifts I did notice some other ones so I noticed this hand cream kit which was quite cute the glass house candles are on special for a rebate totaling price is $79.99 and you get three in the pack I love to show you guys the collectible tea tins they have and the Peter Rabbit ones they have at the moment are $19.99 and my particular Costco has a brand new freezer section, like I'm talking huge. So if you want to see a full freezer tour, let me know in the description box below. I did grab a couple of goodies, but how beautiful is this light? It's not a beautiful price for $899.99, but I did think it was a beautiful light. And on trend with the gifts, there was this handmade card collection for $24.99. I'd been letting my child play with my Costco card and halfway through the shop, I realized that I actually had lost it. I didn't have it and you can't pay for your items without your Costco card and you can't get yourself your poor hot dog with a soda for $2. Yes, that's right. $1.99 for a hot dog and a soda. Grab myself a pizza slice and I've headed home to eat more, of course. There is this street taco kit, which is amazing. It comes with all the essentials you need and it is an essential for me on the nights where I like to do a Costco shop because it's just such an easy, quick dinner. That sauce, that red sauce is so hot, by the way. Dylan said that the actual chicken itself was quite hot to him, but I didn't notice that. It was probably because I was eating that red sauce. We do have quite a bit left over, so that's why I like to keep a lot of these on hand. But one of the first items we picked up was this hot sauce challenge. If you are a veteran chili man, this isn't going to be for you. But if you'd like to do a hot sauce challenge, it was really fun. We had a big pump of endorphins after. But honestly, it wasn't that hot for the boys. I unfortunately did get burned. I got burned on like number seven or something. But the beef jerky was at $14.99 for 310 grams. One of Dylan's selections and another one was this peanut butter pretzels. But they are delicious. They're like little pillows of peanut butter goodness for $15.99 you get the whole package the whole package is a kilo and a half by the way that's a lot of pretzels but another package I needed to pick up was some cocoa so I grabbed the Hershey's brand $13.49 and this bad boy was packed to the brim once I've finished doing the voiceover for this video I'm going to go straight to start organizing my pantry if that's something you guys are interested in seeing make sure your notification bell is turned on it will be my next coming video but I also needed to grab some of these Freddo frogs I know what you're thinking, you didn't need them, Ashley, but I did. I did. They're my little treat of an evening, and they're also my bribery to get Sophie to use the potty. So we already had a little stash of them, and I wanted to compare them to the ones that we get from Woolworths. Honestly, the one from Costco felt a little bit heavy up. They're both marked as 12 grams. They both look the same size. They had the same packaging. So that's good to know. I can just refill my container. And I'd like to say hopefully not eat them all, but we all know me. I'm going to eat these so fast. I also grabbed a couple packages of sugar. These are the three kilo bags, which you can get for $2.99. And you guys saw that I grabbed that puzzle. The puzzle was $16.98. It's a thousand pieces. And I'm going to show you guys what it looks like inside because I was actually severely impressed. I was impressed with the box, the Velcro of it. It was just beautiful. It's something I would be happy to have on display on my cabinet or shelf. But it came with a spare bag so that when you actually open the puzzle and you're finished with it, you can put it back in the bag. And it also came with a picture of what the puzzle's supposed to look like. It even came with a little thank you note, which is so cute. I will show you guys the puzzle pieces themselves, but I would say it's about an easy to medium thousand piece puzzle. I picked up a slab of the juice boxes. These are $13.49. You get 24 in the pack and it's four six packs. So I'll show you guys here, but just like the six packs you'd grab at Woolworths or Coles. We go through them like there's no tomorrow. So buying them from Costco makes me feel a little bit better about it. Also, coffee. Your girl needed her coffee. You get 90 of these sachets for the $29.99. It doesn't come with the chocolate powder, so that's why they're 30 in the pack as opposed to the 26 you would get in a value pack at, Cosc at Coles, sorry, or Woolworths. But I was really weirded out because the packages themselves were actually 
orange this time. If you saw from my last Costco haul, they were brown. My daughters absolutely love Peppa. They love reading. So I did grab them the 50 Peppa storybook collection. That was $37.99. And although I said only grab one cereal, they found a loophole, Dylan and Sophie, when I say they, and they grabbed this mega mix for $16.49. Honestly, as long as it gets eaten, I really don't mind. But I wanted to show you guys, we've got the corn flakes and they come with little windows now, which is different. They didn't have that when I was a kid. But we've got the cornflakes, Nutri-Grain, Fruit Loops, Cocoa Pops, and Rice Bubbles. It is not value for money as there's only 25 in the whole package themselves. But we love these little Hello Panda cookies. I will show you exactly what they look like. But it's $11.99 for the whole package. It's 30 individual packets for 21 grams. It's about 7 or 8 biscuits. And the biscuits have little pandas on them. My youngest daughter is still under one, so we've grabbed this transition set just so that she can play around with all the lids, the spouts, find what she really likes. She wants to be more like her older sister and just use a cup, but honestly, for my sanity, I need her to learn how to use one of these. As per usual, I want to open them up and show you guys. So we get two bottles that come with the whole package. We get the straw spout. This one here is like a sippy cup and it's not spill proof, may I say, but the next one is supposed to be spill proof, I think, and again, still not, still not spill proof. But this one here was really the main reason I bought it. I did pick up a slab of the organic coconut cream. There are six individual cans in this one for the $12.99 and it is 100% coconut cream. Lately, I've been really struggling to find coconut cream that isn't watered down. Dylan recently started a new job where he has the ability like to cook his lunch as opposed to be on the road all the time. So I wanted to grab him some microwave meals. There were these butter chickens. There's six in the slab and it was $17.99. I personally don't know how they're going to go, but I can always let you know if you want to leave me a comment down below. I'll ask him. But this by far is Costco's best deal at the moment. $9.99 four bottles of four liters of vinegar. So this entire box only cost me $9.99. When I was in store and I was showing you guys the freezer section, I did pick up a package of those Chipotle chicken crackles. I've never seen these before. I've never tried them. It was $19.49 for the whole package and these are amazing. I love them. In fact, I love these so much that I was sitting there eating them just questioning what is Chipotle. I looked it up on Google. I've decided I'm going to make my own at some point but I wanted to show you guys exactly what they look like. Delicious. I did grab a packet of the salted butter. Usually I would only like to grab this while it's on a rebate. It comes with three 500 gram packets for $17.99 and that's just not dollar for value. I could get 500 grams for $5 from Woolworths, but I was already there, so it's fine. I do want to show you guys the milks. I don't know what happened. One of them I grabbed was fine, but majority of the milks were like, the truck driver was drunk or something. They're $3.59 for three liters, if you were wondering. We needed some bacon, and I like to get this one. Definitely a good value for money. It's 1.5 kilos. They come in 500 gram portions, so you can cut them up, which is what I like to do. And it's only $14.99 for the entire package of 1.5 kilos. So, absolute bargain there. We grabbed some probiotic drinks for Dylan. They don't have the usual red ones that I will show you in just a moment. They only had these blue ones, and Dylan likes to have one every day, so... I made sure that we grabbed one still and it's the five in a packet. There's four in the entire slab for $8.79 and I'll show you a comparison of what they look like to the red ones. They are much bigger and besides the word fermented and I know what fermented means obviously but I don't actually know what the difference is in them. Don't ask me. I have to ask Dylan but the beef muscle and curry is one we haven't tried yet. It's $16.89 for the one kilo package. All you have to do is chuck that in the microwave, cook up some rice, and Bob's your uncle, you got yourself a dinner. This teriyaki chicken is delicious as well. $17.99 for this package, and I've cooked it two different ways that it suggests. I've cooked it in the oven, and I've cooked it in the microwave. Obviously, the microwave wasn't going to be as good, but it didn't even compare. So if you are going to cook this one, highly recommend doing it in the oven. I grabbed two packets of these yogurts. So... In the entire package, you do get 18 yogurts. You get the six tropical, you get six blueberry, and you get six strawberry for $7.99. Sorry, $7.79. And like I said, I grabbed two of those. For meats this fortnight, I did grab a lot of them from Woolworths, but we did grab our usual slab of chicken wings. This one, I probably should have grabbed two lots because we used the entire slab on the hot sauce challenge, which, yeah, no regrets there. But I did grab a slab of the Marylands as well as some beef. But I did want to thank you guys so much for being here. 
Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Mwah!